This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. This this is laughable. Yesterday I was talking about the thinning. I've talked about the agendas behind Netflix, Hulu now, that these online streaming channels are becoming more and more popular for the New World Order to use as their method for brainwashing because they're seeing that more and more people are turning off the television. Well, this one is just unbelievable and the timing couldn't be more deliberate and you could see from the timing of this how all this stuff works out and how all of this stuff is staged and planned by the elites by the globalists and the mind control that they have planned on the masses continues to go on and nobody seems to see it happening right in front of their faces the timing is just said to be a coincidence this is called the handmaid's tale which will be airing on hulu it is based on a novel by Margaret Atwood. There was a movie variation of this. I believe it was in the early 90s. Faye Dunaway and Robert Duvall were in it. Now, what's really funny about this is all the quote-unquote liberal, uh, you know, leftist people pushing the feminist movement are so terrified by the trailer. You can see the Huffington poop here. The full Handmaid's Tale trailer is a dystopian nightmare and a call to action saying it's a call to action for women. They even break down the trailer here where they say, because the trailer starts and the woman says, I was asleep before. That's how we let it happen. Let it happen as in the women start to be shut out. Women are dismissed from their jobs. Women are targeted by groups, martial law, clearly in effect a police slash military state it's all done deliberately don't you see the common repetitive theme when i talk about how they repetitively beat these agendas into our minds do you see the common themes going on over and over and over how do we let it happen we were asleep and all of a sudden we whoa well, my goodness i could this couldn't tr tie into what's going on with what they're pretending is going on with donald trump and the feminist movement that they are pushing heavily. They are taking advantage of women and brainwashing them into this women's empowerment movement. It is very, very dangerous what they are doing right now. But unfortunately, many women out there are falling into this deception big time. The, tra the trailer says, when they blamed terrorists and suspended the Constitution, we didn't wake up. Her voiceover continues. The trailer shows a montage of protesters crowding the streets, religious fundamentalists blatantly saying their peace. So, of course, religious fundamentalists, that means pretty much people, uh, you know, because they, they make it seem as if Christianity and the Bible holds women down. It all, you know, all these religions hold women down. It, it's all part of the mind control for what they have planned. And the women's empowerment movement and the feminist movement is another movement that's right on top of the list. But it also adds in what? Depopulation. And this is supposed to be the future of America. That's what the setting is supposed to be. So women are dismissed from their jobs. Members of targeted groups try to flee the country on foot. And then those women who don't make it out are assigned as surrogates to couples who aren't able to conceive, made to wear uniforms, and forced to have sex with certain men. Now, this is also showing you how a lot of these cults and covens operate, that these women are used just for breeding, that's why these women, they're all wearing these red outfits, almost like red cloaks. That is their uniform. They're wearing that. And then these women, these elitists of power, use these women to make children. And that, like I've been saying so many times over, is what these covens and these cults do. Women are born into it, some of which join these cults and they bear children with these men and they allow them to ritually sacrifice their children, you can even see in the trailer, just blatantly obvious, all seeing eye symbolism as the woman has her eye cut out. And you could see women protesters holding up signs, stop violence against women. A woman's choice is a woman's voice. So pushing pro-abortion, which is what, like I've said over and over, they brainwash women into thinking this is about them and their egos and about, oh, that, that. They shouldn't be told what to do, do without will. They should be allowed to murder a child. It's not, they never talk about how it's killing a baby. Women, they've convinced them that it's about them not having equal rights to men. And people fall for it. And this trailer just shows you that over and over. It also goes to mock God at the end of the trailer, which isn't a surprise. They use scripture in it. 
The woman says, blessed are the meek. And then she responds to the woman who says that to her. And she says, blessed are those who suffer for the cause of righteousness. This is just mocking of the Bible. That's what it is. This is nothing to do with God and Jesus Christ. They're using it to fit it into their fable here of the feminist movement and how they're brainwashed. All these women have been brainwashed into being slaves to these elitist men. And they allowed it to happen because they weren't paying attention, hinting at Donald Trump and all the stuff going on now, which is all propaganda. It's all mind control. It's the same stuff over and over. And of course, the woman gets, you know, struck with something and beaten. I mean, this is brainwashing at its finest. You see how it's continuing to happen? You could see the women being pinned down, laid down in beds, held down just to spread their legs and have sex, to be impregnated by these men. Okay, this is more feminist propaganda. There's a reason that this is coming out again now. This isn't a new story. Someone didn't just write it. Okay, but it's done filming. Usually these things take, what, a year to film at least, right? You might want to, okay, maybe eight to ten months. It's what, March? This is com- This is already complete, so you figure it's been probably complete for at least eight months or so because they have to edit it and do all that stuff. I mean, movies are done years in advance sometimes. So what a coincidence, right, with Donald Trump. They were just planning on, oh, we should redo this book, The Handmaid's Tale. And then as they up the ante in the feminist movement, which is exactly what they did with Donald Trump. Oh, Donald Trump's a womanizer. He doesn't respect women. This is all mind control. This is all fitting into their hand. And then this deliberately gets released. It gets trending on YouTube. It's trending number two worldwide. Why do you think that is? Because everybody just went, oh, the trailer for The Handmaid's Tale is just come out. Well, let me get to YouTube. They're pushing it. If they're pushing it, they're pushing it for a reason. Just like the thinning I did yesterday talking about depopulation. This covers that as well with what they do. I mean, it's unbelievable how in our faces all of this stuff is. And then you get these leftist propaganda crap sources like the Huffington poop, which is nothing but filth and garbage sitting there and trying to scare up and rile up women out there into thinking that this can be their future if women don't stand up and fight back, get out there and protest, pro-choice, pro-this, pro-women. And no one's saying be against women. I love women. All men should love women. They're a gift from God. They're amazing. But this is not what this is about. This is an empowerment movement. Okay, and they're getting women on board with this. They're breaking up families. They've already done that. They're already, you know, they've already destroyed most homes because they put women and men in the workplace so no one raises a child except for the school. I say that almost every day, I know. You can even see here, it looks like they're cleaning the blood off the walls. I guess, you know, they have women killed who weren't, you know, able to produce and have children, so they have them killed. I mean, it's th- this whole thing is just fear, fear, fear. This is what's coming in a Donald Trump society. It says Trump supporters are getting triggered by an... I mean, look at the headlines. Trump supporters triggered by an adaptation of a novel over 30 years old. The Handmaid's Tale trailer shows a world where fear breeds contempt. I mean, this is a nightmare. This is what's coming. Blah, blah, blah. A dystopian nightmare. Don't you see what they're doing here and how they're doing it? And they're getting away with it because people refuse to see the signs. Like the trailer says itself. Right? Right in the beginning. They were asleep. That's how they let it happen. Well, this that's a mockery of what's going on now. Because everybody's been asleep. And that's how we've allowed this to happen. Because everybody's been dulled asleep. Getting, you know, here's some money. Here's a house. You go work. You get some rewards. Oh, okay. You know, they start slowly making things, you know, putting sexualization on television. And next thing, you know, you go from Believe It to Beaver to pretty much have people walking around naked on TV now and regular channels. That's how ridiculous it is. Pushing sex, pushing, you know, bisexuality, pansexuality, transgenderism, cross-dressing. I mean, it's insane. It's insane. So they're taking something that was made in 1985. Okay. Which is obviously when this came out, this was predictive programming when it came out in 1985. They already had this plan. They they already had created the feminist movement. The Rockefellers were behind funding it. They had already started that. This came out as predictive programming then. They even made a movie on it in 1990. Okay, and now they're using it again as predictive programming. That's why these things continue to get remade. That's why there's not too many new movies out there with new stories. Or if you watch a new movie that's supposed to be a new script, you know what's going to happen in the end. 
You can predict it throughout it. Oh, I wonder who he's going to end up with or who she's going to end up with. But it's predictive deliberately. It's all seed planting. It's all controlled. So this comes out now because they're conditioning people even now with the same thing they were conditioning them with in 1985. Only the difference is right now they can relate this to the news because the news is pushing this. Trump is sexist. Trump's followers are sexist. Women are suppressed. Women don't make as much money as men. Hillary got screwed in the election. Don't you see all the seeds that they've been planting? This is dangerous stuff if, if women out there don't wake up and realize that they're being targeted by the elite. And it's a scary thought, not the, the, you know, the, what the movie's portraying as society becoming. It's a scary thought that people are so dumb that they can't realize that all of these things that Netflix, Hulu, cable television is pushing is all propaganda. I can cover it every day. Every day, if I see something new from Hulu or from Netflix, it's the same stuff. Depopulation, feminist movement, race war, martial law, gay agenda, transgender agenda. All there, folks. So this is the hands, Handmaid's Tale, which you can watch the trailer for yourself. Again, you'll see the all-seeing eye symbolism in it, mocking of scriptures, but it's the plot is what it's about. The fear that they're creating and, and how they continue to try to rile up women and get women, this feminist movement, going and going and going. And it's working because people are falling for it. Women are falling for it. So don't fall for it. Stand your ground. This is my control at its best. I'll leave the trailer link below if you want a good laugh. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.